A.J. Foyt chasing Gordon Johncock for the lead. Gordon Johncock wants to make it a second 500-mile race victory. A.J. Foyt would like to make it four. 77 was my uh, biggest disappointment in my whole racing career. We had it easily won. You know, we had a 13-second lead on Foyt with 16 laps to go. And A.J. Foyt has now closed to within 12 seconds of Gordon Johncock, and Foyt is gaining about one second a lap. It got like 12, 11, then it was 9, and then 8, and Jack come back on the radio. He said, have you turned the boost up at that time, you know, the power? I said, no, I haven't. I says, uh, they must be in trouble. And now, A.J. Foyt, an interval of 6.8 two seconds between the leader Johncock, the second place car Foyt. Foyt is closing the gap. So then it went nine, eight, seven, six, and I think it was like two or three, and boom, you know, he blew up. Well, he had already turned up his power, and the motor blew up. He's cruised across. What's happened? Gordon Johncock, the leader of the Indy 500. It's all over for Gordon Johncock. A.J. Foyt leads the Indianapolis 500. Broke a crank in the car. So I just coasted off in turn one, got out of the car, and went down, laid down the creek, and cooled off, because I was hot. It was a hot day, and I was worn out. A checkered flag is out, A.J.'s hand in the air, he is the winner. A.J. Foyt at Indianapolis has won his fourth 500-mile race. We had our good breaks, we had our bad breaks, and I just, and still, I'm just, no, oh, I just, I can't believe it. I knew Gordy was a tough competitor, and Big Naughty being one of my old mechanics, uh, he's just a hard man to beat, and he made a fun part. When, when did you know that you really had it? See Gordy on the infield? I didn't know it until I got the checkered flag. <laughs> and to see somebody win Indianapolis for the fourth time, I think that meant a whole lot to the crowd. A.J. Foyt continues his tour on the back of the Oldsmobile pace car around the race course. He is receiving the cheers of the thousands that have gathered here for the 61st running of the 500-mile race. Mr. Hullman rode around on the victory lap with me, which uh, it was a thrill to have him, and I don't know if that was the first time he ever rode with an uh, Indy 500 winner, but I think he was very happy that I won it for the fourth time. It was a dream come true. Uh, it took me 10 years to get that fourth one, but if it had took 20 years, it was worth it.